What am I doing? I'm just singing anything that's coming into my head and I'm finding the location of it on the horn. It's very direct and in a lot of ways it's very simple. I hear the sound. Okay, so the horn is replacing your vocal cords. Your finger's job is to find the location of the sounds you're hearing in your head. Now, you have to get the sounds in your head first, you know, and then you have to find where they're located on the horn. You may have heard people tell you before, um, you know, if you can sing it, you're going to be able to play it. You're definitely on the way toward playing it. If you're just wiggling your fingers and you're trying to remember a key signature or a spelling of a chord or an interval, that's not really going to get you where you need to be. You have to play what you're hearing. You have to be hearing something, okay, in order to come up with it. Like, in other words, you cannot use theory or musical just kind of information or data to make up for the fact that you're not hearing something specific. You do need to hear specifically. And it's you know, I always, uh, it's interesting, when I was younger, I'd sometimes encounter a teacher who'd say, well, you know, just play on the major scale or play on the Dorian scale and uh, just kind of play off of some of those notes or something. And it was so vague, it's like, it didn't really help me. I know they were trying to be helpful, but here's what I found. The more specific, the better. Your ear, you have to be very, very specific as to what you want it to do. How are you going to find the note if you're not clear on what it is you're hearing? Bah. When I'm singing this, I can actually feel a slight a, a twinge or a tingle or something like that in these fingers. And that did not just happen. That was a lot of training to get me there. Okay, and I'm going to share with you some of the ways that I did it. The first way was, this started in high school when I heard the school bell and I noticed bah, it was my F sharp. Okay, so all day in class, I'd wait for the bell and I would do the F sharp fingering. Bah, bah. After enough weeks and months of that, I got where I could just go like this and I could hear what it would sound like. Bah, and hear the sound of the horn producing that frequency, not just the school bell. I could hear it both ways. I could hear how it would sound coming through the speaker the school, but I could also hear how it would sound. And then, it's interesting, I heard a Freddie Hubbard album called Hub Tones, where he does You're My Everything, and that's his first note. He starts like that, okay? And uh, I recognized it right away. I was like, oh, he's playing the F sharp, okay? And um, that was a very powerful moment for me because I realized that this was something that was doable, and it didn't have anything to do with studying music theory or anything. It's a different kind of part of your brain. Okay, I want you to practice this. you got to get comfortable and get over any inhibitions you might have about singing a pitch and then trying to find it. Yes, you're going to look foolish sometimes. No, it doesn't matter. Try to just have fun with it and don't take yourself so seriously. Um, I was just teaching a student the other day and I'm like, can you go, ba? And he goes like, ba. I'm like, no, it's higher than that. And I go, ba. No, no, that's not it either. Ba. If you're really having trouble telling if you're singing the right pitch, there's a couple of things you could do. One is you could just go to a piano and play the note while you sing it, and hearing it at the same time is easier. This is harder. To sing the note and get it to come out on the horn, it's a harder thing to do. Ba. I get it pretty close. I'm a little sharp, but that's an E. You can use a tuner to help you with that, okay? So just work with the season of sharps for now. Okay, when you're good at those and you don't miss, add one more note. I want you to add. It's going to be my A. Add the A. Uh, there's only going to be two of them. Throw that into the mix, okay? So it's either going to be the F sharp 
the C or the A. Okay? Try to kind of just get into that. You can record yourself playing these, and I wouldn't say do them completely random. Try to hear it. You want to hear, oh, we're going into upper register or lower register, but see if you can get control of those three notes and then try singing them. Ba, ba, ba. Da, da. And you might just work with that for five or ten minutes and then go on to other things you need to practice, okay? Now, you're not going to get all 32 notes right away, but that's not the point. The point is you want to do quality work, you want to train your ear so you can find the locations. When I'm listening to a record of someone playing, especially if it's a tenor player and someone I'm familiar with like Getz or Stitt or, or Coltrane or something, I can almost feel it in my hands, what they're doing. I can feel because I can hear the sound, I could be singing that pitch and I almost instinctively know what I would have to do to produce that. Just as if you imagined a word, and you could, if you're a good typist, you could picture what you'd have to do to type that word. I could hear a sound and I could picture what I have to do to produce that sound, okay? It's a different type of thinking, it's a different type of mindset than thinking about theory and all that kind of stuff. So, have fun with that. This is a total by ear thing, okay? Whatever you play, whether you play alto, tenor, or piano or guitar or whatever your transposing instrument, try to take those concepts that I just gave you, sing a note, ba, and find it and play it. And it takes a lot of reinforcement, okay? So don't, a lot of people, they give up too easy. It might take 500 times to reinforce it. That's fine. It doesn't matter. However long it takes, it takes, you know. Um, ba, ba, and then, don't overdo it either. Spend five, ten minutes on it. Do something else. Come back to it later in the day. Come back to it the next day. Feel free to laugh. You're going to sometimes miss the note. It's going to be funny. You're not going to be close. Try not to get mad or frustrated or upset about it. This is just something that's a fun thing. And it's going to enhance your enjoyment of your playing so much and you're going to play better and you're going to be able to hear something. It is so fun to just be able to just think of something and just play it without worrying about what key I'm in or what notes I'm playing. Uh, it's just great. There you go. All right. Have fun with that. I'll see you soon.